Here we want to get um, all of the users. So we're gonna get the array of users and for each user, we're going to uh, take that uh, user information and get their to-dos. So this is going to collect all of the users. Then for each user, it's going to get all of their to-dos and map them into a single structure with the single user and their array of to-dos. So here I'm getting all of the users and I'm piping it through with a merge map and I want merge map for performance. So here is the best practice of using merge map to get these um, uh, to run concurrently and as quickly as possible because I don't necessarily care about the order of these operations. I can always sort it alphabetically or whatever after the fact. So then here I'm using fork join. A fork join waits for all observables to emit and complete. So our fork join won't emit until all of its observables, however many it has here, are complete. And then it emits the last value from each one. I'm taking each of the users that this has retrieved and I'm mapping it using the array map to go get the to-dos for that user and put them into this structure. By using a fork join, it will immediately process each one of these but it will not emit anything until all of them have completed. So this is really nice and it will wait for us to get all of the users to do's and then return the users with to do's. So it's great for getting related data for each item in an array. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.